Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 14th of 2021. Well, it is titled Ganymede from Juno. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image and you can see it looks vaguely like our moon. But when you look at the details, it doesn't look like our moon. Our moon certainly doesn't have the same kind of striped and uh, textured patterns that we're used to seeing. But we do see the craters and the light and dark areas on this moon. Now this is the large moon Ganymede, one of the large moons of Jupiter. And it is actually the largest of all the moons in the solar system. Now one thing we notice when we look at it is that there is a distinct difference between this one and our moon. On our moon, the darker areas, the Maria, are the less cratered and the younger areas. On Ganymede, the darker areas are the older areas. And you can see looking at the lighter and darker areas, the lighter areas seem to have fewer craters and the darker areas have more craters. So looking at the number of craters in a given region tells us something about the relative ages of those two regions. And on our moon, the lighter areas are older. And here on Ganymede, the lighter areas are younger. Now that can actually make sense to us because Ganymede, unlike our moon, is made up of ice. So what we're looking at here is a big ball of ice. And in fact, it has an ocean of water down below. So much of this could be ice that we're seeing and the fresher ice will look a much lighter color. And we can see that in some of the impact craters. Uh, we can estimate that some of the youngest impact craters are probably those with the lightest colors and rays going out from them. Rays tend to be relatively young. They form when the crater forms and they get worn away relatively fast and that's astronomically speaking that they will wear away over millions and millions of years. So seeing them here means they're relatively young craters and you can see how bright they are by comparison to some of the older craters which look quite dark. So possibly the moon picks up other materials over time and will darken the other areas. So what are light areas now could in many millions or even billions of years from now be much darker. So it's a quite different uh, object than our own moon, our own moon having very little water, if any at all. And this one has more water than the entire Earth. So we could go down below the frozen surface, which is made much of water ice could be down below would be a great ocean of water. And we've been able to measure that through the various gravitational effects and other measurements. Since we can't actually drill down to that water because it would be hundreds of miles below the icy surface, we have to use uh, indirect measurements to be able to see inside what is going on inside Ganymede. Now this is an image taken by the Juno spacecraft which recently passed by this uh, moon to get us some close images uh, like this and that actually uh, gravitationally affected the spacecraft and it, that changes its orbital period. It used to be orbiting every 53 days the gravity of Juno put it into a shorter orbit I'm sorry, the gravity of Ganymede put Juno into the shorter orbit of about 43 days. So taking about 10 days off the time it takes to orbit. That is a procedure that is quite often used to adjust the orbits of spacecraft. It is very expensive in terms of fuel to change the orbits significantly. So we often use what we call a gravitational assist when we want to change an orbit and accelerate or slow down a spacecraft. And we can do that by having it pass close to a large object and its gravity can then accelerate it and make it go faster or slower depending on exactly exactly the uh, conditions. So that's often used to be able to change the orbital period because it's a lot easier than carrying excess fuel, uh, which is normally used just for stabilization and not for major, major course changes. So that was our picture of the day for June the 14th of 2021. It was titled Ganymede from Juno. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. 
previewed to be God of Fire on Mars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.